Good morning to all student. Please send message on a WhatsApp group. That is lecture is started now. Please submit your attendance in chat box. Okay, friends. Okay, now I, I am going to share the today's lecture screen. Yes. Is it shared, Sanika? Sanika screen is shared. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Is it shared well? Okay. Okay, friends. In last lecture, we came to the series resonance circuit. Okay, Sanika, ita prenda alo to apan mahita na. Apan alo to ita prenda mahita na sagya na. Please give response. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just I am uh, taking some flashback and again I am going to uh, go to today's point. So here this is the LCR series circuit and in LCR series circuit, LCR are connected in series as shown in this diagram. But at a resonance that will be known as a series resonance, at a resonance, what will be the effect will be uh, was MAC, that is the uh, reactance uh, that is the reactance of the capacitor and reactance of the inductance just be become equal we know that that is in lcr uh, circuit diagram the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitor just become equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and he hence they can cancel the effect of each other and only remaining effect is only the resistance means that that LCR circuit, LCR series circuit at resonance become a purely resistive circuit. Only resistance is present, hence it, it became purely resistive circuit. Here, again, the uh, we know that at a resonance, when the uh, reactance of the capacitor and reactance of the inductance, it will be goes opposite in direction. This is the uh, reactance of the inductance. This is the reactance of the capacitor and uh, they will be opposite in direction they will be cancel the effect of each other and only remaining is the resistance and after what is the resonance frequency here i will uh, discuss the later at resonance omega is equal to omega zero means the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitor just became equal then the condition uh, condition of the resonance that is the that is omega omega 0 l is equal to 1 upon c omega 0 or omega c 0 then omega 0 omega 0 get la omega 0 square is equal to 1 upon l c omega 0 root get la 1 upon root of l c then omega is equal to 2 pi f f is equal to omega by 2 f is equal to f 0 f 0 is the resonant frequency this is the resonant frequency then f 0 is equal to omega 0 divided by 2 pi 1 upon 2 pi root of lc this becomes the formula of the resonant frequency again we are going to see the uh, voltage amplification circuit that is voltage amplification circuit circuit is only remaining the uh, purely resistive circuit and here resistance uh, resistance is to be only acts to amplification at resonance the potential difference across the inductance and uh, and the condenser or the capacitor just to become equal and opposite they will be cancelled with each other. Therefore, the circuit become purely resistive and the function of the applied EMF is to only overcome the resist opposition of the resistance. Means that already the uh, due to the uh, due to the uh, reactance due to the at the 
uh, resonant frequency the reactance of the capacitor and reactance of the uh, inductance just become equal hence the voltages across uh, them become opposite and equal and they cancel each other only remaining component is resistance and here the emf applied to the lcr circuit only used to oppose the uh, oppose the uh, resistance that is the uh, we know that the resistance resistance is uh, uh, is the uh, power to oppose the flow of current and that is the emf okay then if the inductance or capacitance connected in series in the circuit of the large uh, large resistance potential difference it increases to high value this is known as an voltage amplification and voltage amplification mathematically shown by the relation voltage amplification is the potential difference across the inductance and capacitance divided by applied emf that is omega l i0 divided by r uh, r i0 is equal to that will be here we have to introduce the equal sign yes it is missing here okay omega l i0 divided by 2 that is irms and r into i0 divided by 2 root 2 that is irms then omega l i0 divided by r i0 i0 0 cancel the omega l divided by r here also omega 0 l irms into r into irms 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 cancel oil omega 0 l that is the omega is equal to omega 0 that is the resonant frequency if l is large if l is large then the omega l is greater than the r hence the voltage amplification is the high and high frequency at high frequency omega that is omega l divided by r can be designed by uh, designed to magnify the uh, voltage to the desired value the frequency of an applied emf is varied then uh, uh, then a series lcr circuit uh, circuit the supply will be give to maximum response and uh, pass maximum uh, current and uh, we have uh, we say that it is the maximum potential hence the voltage voltage mag magnification is the maximum at the resonant frequency because the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitance just become equal and they will be cancelled and only resistance is to be used uh, remaining and here the voltage um, voltage amplification uh, is the maximum due to the resonant frequency and this is the procedure used to tune the radio and the television network we know that in a, in radio broadcasting and in television network broadcasting uh, this uh, uh, resonant frequency is used where the due to the resonance frequency the audio uh, in case of television audio and video quality will be become a very good at the resonant frequency uh, at the uh, at the in this uh, like this the uh, in the radio communication also the peak frequency the peak frequency of the sound will be uh, will be uh, taken at the resonant frequency and for these two uh, transmission that is the radio transmission and the uh, television transmission the resonant frequency is to be very very uh, important and it is uh, used here to get the sharpen sharpen band of the sound again we are switching to the quality factor that is the quality factor is the q q is the quality factor and here we know that the quality factor is the circuit quality quality of the circuit or the quality of the resonance and it is also called as the quality ratio and it is defined as the q is equal to 2 pi into maximum energy stored divided by energy dissipated per cycle that uh, we can uh, multiply and divide by the periodic time t then 2 pi by t into maximum energy stored divided by energy dissipated per cycle by t then 2 pi by t is equal to omega which is equal to maximum energy stored divided by average power dissipated and in this the power therefore therefore in an ac circuit containing a circuit containing the inductance l and the series resistance rql is equal to omega into one half l i zero square one half r into i zero square which is equal to i zero is i zero cancel wheel one half one half cancel wheel omega l r ql ql is the quality factor quality factor of the ac circuit 
which is using the inductance and the resistance if if in uh, if in lr circuit if in lr ac circuit or the circuit which containing the inductance and resistance the quality factor is the omega l divided by r and that will be known as an ql as we seen that omega l divided by r is the ql and uh, if we represent the uh, if we represent the voltage voltage amplification similarly the quality factor quality factor containing c and r similarly the circuit containing the capacitance and the resistance the quality factor is the, the quality factor is the qc is equal to 1 upon omega c r here this is the ql that is quality factor when inductance and resistance are you are used and this is the qc where the quality factor when the capacitor and resistance are used the values of the quality factor uh, uh, values of a ql and qc are the same values and we know that the it is the sec theta and the quality factor total factor is the reciprocal of the sec theta is the cos theta cos theta is the quality factor of that circuit which is uses the uh, lcr because we are separately call, uh, calculating the quality factor of the inductance ql and quality factor of the capacitance uh, qc that is the sharpness of the resonance sharpness of the resistance eh? here this is the sharpness in the resonance and the resonance sharpness of the resonance kasa hai? we know that the sharpness of the resonance is the graph like the hill it will be increases it will be uh, become maximum again it will be decreases in lcr circuit uh, current will be increases according to the angular frequency just we see this graph then uh, already he this is this is that okay in this graph in this graph okay that is the this is the frequency and this is the ema for the current as the frequency increases the uh, output voltage or output current will be increasing at that particular frequency that will be known as a resonance frequency that will be shown by the dotted line the maximum we get the maximum EM, emf and after the resonance frequency also the output will be decreasing that will be known as a resonance resonance will be occurred resonance will be occurred when resonance will be occurred when we get the uh, reactance of the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitance just to become equal here that is in lcr circuit the current uh, increases as the angular frequency omega is or the f is to be increases applied uh, increases and at particular frequency when omega is equal to omega 0 or f is equal to f 0 it becomes greatest and it is called as the resonance and uh, at that the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitance just become equal omega 0 l is equal to 1 upon omega 0 c then f f we calculated f 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root of l c that is the f 0 that will be the resonant frequency resonant frequency okay again if the width of the curve width of the curve is the frequency is the omega 0 is a small and at resonance at resonance where the resonance is there it will be the sharpen that is the hill is the sharpen at the resonance at the resonance omega is equal omega 0 is equal to omega that is the given l and c are the variation is the sharpness of the resonance it will be depend upon r how it will be depend upon r just i am showing in uh, again that uh, diagram consider that we know that the when uh, when the resonance uh, the resonance condition is achieved uh, the reactance uh, the reactance of the inductance and reactance of the capacitor just to become equal and the voltages across the reactor uh, inductance and capacitor will be uh, become equal and opposite they will be cancelled with each other then only remaining amount remaining component is the resistance only the output will be depend upon the resistance and if the resistance is increased uh, i take here the annotate that is if the resistance consider that is the this is the uh, this is the graph sharpness of the graph where the resistance is the r and if the resistance is increased it become r1 again it is increased it become r2 then what about the sharpness sharpness will be decreases that is the sharpness will be decreases here this is the sharpness will be decreases again r2 sharpness will be decreases means that means that here the uh, resonance frequency uh, at resonance frequency the sharpness will be only depend upon the 
magnitude of the r and if the magnitude of the r is increased the magnitude of the resistance is increased the the sharpness will be uh, decreases and if the magnitude of the resistance is increased the sharpness will be increased in this in this way we can able to uh, explain the following point that is the sharpness of the resonance in this way here here is the sharpness of the resonance just i am making uh, diagram small here in view of computer see here okay it will be came in view of computer okay see here this is the peculiar point where the omega is equal to omega 0 that is the resonant frequency and we get the greatest uh, uh, greatest uh, emf okay if the resistance are increased we know that the that is the r1 peksha manje r3 peksha r2 mota hai r3 r2 peksha r1 mota hai r1 mota mota ala ki tyachi unchi kami hote baka jasa resistance wadel jasa resistance wadel tashi sharpness kami hote jasa resistance kami hoil tashi sharpness wadte means that here the sharpness of the resonance it, it will be depend upon the magnitude of the resistance because only resistance is remaining in the lcr circuit at the resonance point at the resonance because the reactance that is the voltage across the reactance of the uh, inductance and the voltage across the capacitance they become equal and they will be cancel each other and hence only remaining amount remaining component is the resistance and according to the magnitude of the resistance the sharpness will be decreases or the increases here if the resistance is increased the sharpness will be decreases if the resistance is increased the uh, decreased the sharpness will be increased and here here yeah, on this on this graph if we take the uh, irms irms is equal to i max of root 2 i max bhagile root 2 kele kewa 1 upon root 2 na i max la jar gunle tar tya thikani je amount ete tyala apan kay manto mitranu sanga tyala manto apan mitranu tyala manto apan tyala manto apan irms ani ita ay to r irms ay irms kadtana kay karto baka i max la 1 by uh, 1 upon root 2 na gunto kewa i max la 2 root 2 na रूट टू ना अपन भागतो तिथा अपने जो मिलतो परपेन्डिकुलर ड्रॉ के लिए सॉरी जर परपेन्डिकुलर आला नहीं खालून घो परपेन्डिकुलर ड्रॉ के लिए हा परपेन्डिकुलर जिथ कर उला छेदतो तिथु खाली अपन ड्रॉ कराएं उमेका वन मना चो इतन खाली ड्रॉ कराएं उमेका टू मना चो दिस इज उमेका टू दिस इज उमेका वन एंड उमेका वन डिवाइडेड उमेका वन माइनस उमेका टू इज द बैंड वेट हा सग्या सग्या गोषी अपने इतने एक्सप्लेन कराए एक्सप्लेनेशन मध्य एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज़ द बैंड वेट एंड व्हाट इज़ द रेजोनेंस ओके सी आर एंड टू फाइंड द शार्पनेस ऑफ टू वैल्यूज ओमेका वन ओमेका टू दैट इज द आई आर एम एस मन अपन परपेन्डिकुलर ड्रॉ के ओमेका टू ओमेका वन में आल अपने एंड देन आई जीरो एंड इट विल बी कैलक्युलेटेड बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग वन बाय रूट टू टू द मैक्सिम and the value that is omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega 0 is the sharpness of the resonance and obviously the f1 minus f2 divided by f0 is the sharpness of the resonance and here the sharpness of the resonance r divided by omega 0 l is equal to 1 upon uh, 1 upon quality factor q0 that is q0 is the quality factor at the resonance point at the resonance what is the quality factor that will be indicated by the q0 it will be indicated by the q0 and it can be shown that it can be shown that the sharpness of the resonance r divided by omega 0 l is equal to 1 upon q0 and the sharpness sharpness is the greater the sharpness is greater it will be depend upon the 3.1 that is the if the omega 1 minus omega 2 is the smaller omega 1 and omega 2 is the smaller cell tar aplyala sharpness kay diste aplyala measure diste manje sharpness the as the bandwidth is the smaller the sharpness is the major then r should be smaller r jar kami asel tar sharpness mota hai jas jas apan r3 r2 r1 kade jau tashi sharpness aplyala vadleli diste and if l l should be the larger that is the quality factor q0 should be larger and quality factor should be larger asel tari sudha aplyala sharpness hi kay diste sharpness aplyala maximum diste the difference that is f1 minus f2 is called as the bandwidth of the uh, bandwidth of the the resonance curve and it will be selective and hence the smaller the bandwidth the greater is the uh, greater is the sharpness 
that is f1 f2 f1 minus f2 is equal to f0 divided by q0 is the bandwidth and a smaller the bandwidth the larger is the larger is the sharpness and this is the sharpness of the resonance then the last point which uh, which was remaining here that is the uh, bridge and owens bridge owens bridge is the owens is the name of the scientist and we know that the owens bridge is the like the whitstone bridge and whitstone bridge are to be studied in the 12th standard and we also uh, done the experimental uh, experimental uh, discussion and we pr perform the experiment uh, experiment in uh, uh, 11th and 12th standard there is the whitstone bridge in, in whitstone bridge we know that uh, in whitstone bridge there are the uh, there is the one of the uh, just wait there is the uh, the the rectangle or the parallelogram that is a b c d and there are the four arm that is a b arm again b c arm again c d arm and again d a r and on that arm there are the load or the impedances are present in a b arm only r1 is present in b arm there is the inductance L and its ohmic resistance R2. We know that each and every uh, coil or the inductance coil has an ohmic resistance, uh, uh, ohmic resistance, and that will be measured. It will be R2. In uh, in between CD arm, there is the series combination of the resistance R2 and C2 series combination. And in a term, in or uh, on the uh, on the side uh, AD, there is the uh, C4. That is the sorry C3. C3 will be seen that is the capacitor and in between A and B in between A and B there is the AC that is E is equal to epsilon uh, 0 sin omega t or epsilon raised to j omega t is to be used and in BD there is the uh, in uh, we experiment we use the galvanometer but here galvanometer is not used uh, the headphone is used but that will be inserted in the ear that its headphone is used we know that in uh, 12 standard we use the galvanometer and there is the one jockey and we can uh, uh, slide that jockey or we can adjust the uh, values of the resistances and the values of the decade capacitance so that the uh, that is the uh, galvanometer can give the null deflection or the very less deflection and that null deflection means the uh, bridge is to be balanced and bridge is to be balanced means that bridge is balanced means that this, this half portion is to be balanced with this half portion that is z1 by z2 z1 by z2 divided by z3 by z4 that is this bridge is balanced and when bridge is balanced that galvanometer can causes the zero deflection it will be shows the zero deflection and when it shows the zero deflection or null deflection we say is that bridge is balanced and when bridge is balanced the d point and b point become equipotential point these two point these two point become equipotential point and equipotential point sh shows that that is the half part on the left hand and half part on the right hand side they will be equal and such a basic idea of the Whitstone bridge is used uh, uh, here in uh, Ohans bridge and that will be known as an AC bridge and AC bridge is used to calculate the values of the resistances or the values of the inductance or the values of the capacitor here we see that how that the the Whitstone bridge it is the allowed to comparison of the inductance of with the capacity and the resistance R1 R1 pi lambda baga R1 uh, inductance L capacitor C3 and the series combination of the C4 and the R4 uh, form the four uh, four arm of the Whitstone bridge char bazu or char apnele load this type uh, R2 may be the resistance uh, resistance of the coil that is ohmic resistance of the coil wa yal the alternating EMF is connected between A and C and headphone is a hen port. Kumwa galvanometer or the galvanometer is connected between B and D. The resistance R1, R4, C, uh, C4 are so adjusted that the bridge is balanced. R1, R2 and C4, Mitrano. Kai adjust karaisa baga ita. R1, R2 and R1, R2 and C4. Kai adjust karaiche. Jenny Kurun bridge kai hoit Mitrano balance wheel. Manje galvanometer apla la kai da koil mitrano zero deflection da koil ani zero deflection da koil an antaras bridge kai ho to balance this to ita resistance R1 R4 ka and the capacity C4 are so adjusted that the bridge is balanced that is the headphone can give the minimum sounding or 
the galvanometer, if the galvanometer is connected, it can show signal deflection or the minimum deflection. Okay. The point BD is equipotential point. That is the, the point B and D in which the headphone is connected or in, in which the galvanometer is connected that will be shows the equipotential point. And when they become equipotential point, the uh, bridge is balanced. It means that the head, headphone can sound in the minimum sound or the galvanometer can show the null deflection here. Okay, R2, that is the R2 may be the resistance of the coil, that will be the ohmic resistance of the coil and the alternating EMP is connected between opposite points to the B and D, that is the A and C and uh, uh, just here, that is the values are adjusted and we know that the, if no deflection is the galvanometer is, and the Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 are the four impedances on the four side A, B, again B, C, C, D and D, A. These are the sides of the uh, sides of the parallelogram or the rectangle shown above. Again, that is these are the ABCD side set. Ata Z1, what is the balancing condition? Balancing condition is Z1 by Z2 D is equal to Z3 by Z4. What about the Z1? Z1 manja R1 hai. Z2 manja cone hai zara baka ita. Aray Z2 manja R2 ani yal hai. R2 manja R2 ani yal manja Z1 meka yal hai. Ita Z1 meka yal ala baka. Mitrano Z3 manja cone hai. Fakta C3 hai. C3 manja 1 upon Z omega C3 hai. Ani Z4 manja R2 hai. Ani ponna C4 hai. When R2 ani 1 upon 1 upon Z omega C3. Asha apriala hai char impedances this thayat. या इंपेडन्स से चार रिएक्टन चा वैल्यूज इंपेडन चे वैल्यू है इक्वेशन मध्ये पुट अप करूया z1 म्हणजे r1 आहे z2 म्हणजे 1 अपॉन ओमेगा z ओमेगा c3 आहे z3 म्हणजे काय आहे इथे बघा r2 प्लस z ओमेगा l आहे z z4 बरोबर r4 प्लस z ओमेगा c4 आहे आता इथे मी काय करतोय बघा मित्रांनो तिरकस गुणाकार करायचा यान यान या अंशाला गुणायचं हा जो छेद आहे मित्रांनो या छेदानं या R1 ला गुणायचं पहिल्यांदा मी R1 into R4 लिहिलं बघा काय लिहिलं बघा दॅट इज R1 into R4 इथे आहे बघा R1 into R4 आहे आणि फक्त आपण या R1 R4 ला गुणलं मित्रांनो R1 आणि R4 आहे पुन्हा इथे काय आहे बघा दॅट इज यानं गुणायचं आहे आपल्याला J ओमेगा C3 न गुणायचं आहे म्हणजे आपल्याला हा R1 अंशात असणार आहे and he is a good chess a good Kaliyas Mare that is that is he he worthy yellow a gamitrano he j omega c3 the worthy yellow major worthy guys are let's say r1 omega c3 is a lot he worthy is a lot he was we was me I hate this is duly yeah she done yeah I'm shall I'm gonna let me try no the r1 r4 omega c3 is a lot the r1 r4 omega guys are let's see three is a lot me try no at the plus guys are look at J R1 omega C3 zala J R1 J R1 omega C3 ahe tas yana yala gundle mi mitrano R4 zala ata yana yala gundle aur kai zala sanga J omega C3 J omega C4 zala which is equal to R2 ekad railat R2 plus J omega yal he J omega ani he J omega gela mitrano kai raila baga R1 C3, C4 राहिलं बाकी आहे तसं इक्वेशन लिहिलं मी काय होतंय जरा गंमत बघा आपल्याला माहित आहे जे ओमेका आहे म्हणजे तो इमॅजिनरी पार्ट आहे जे ओमेका आहे म्हणजे तो इमॅजिनरी पार्ट आहे याच्यामध्ये जे ओमेका नाहीये याच्यामध्ये जे ओमेका नाहीये म्हणजे तो रिअल पार्ट आहे आणि आपल्याला माहित आहे रिअल पार्ट इक्वेट करायचे आणि इमॅजिनरी पार्ट इक्वेट करायचंय इक्वेटिंग रिअल पार्ट मी इक्वेटिंग रिअल पार्ट केलं तर काय मिळालं सांगा R1 C3 C4 R1 C3 C4 मी डाव्या बाजूला लिहिलं व्हिच इज इक्वल टू R2 आता हे थोडंस इक्वेशन आपल्याला कॅपॅसिटर फक्त एका बाजूला घ्या म्हणजे हा R1 इथे गुणिले आहे खाली येऊन भागिले होईल म्हणजे C3 डिवाइडेड बाय C4 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू R R2 डिवाइडेड बाय R1 झालं या इक्वेशन कडे जरा बारकाईला बघ बारकाईने बघा मी इक्वेटिंग द रियल पार्ट इक्वेशन घेतलं काय झालं बघा डाव्या बाजूला सी थ्री डिवायडेड बाय सी थ्री डिवायडेड बाय सी फोर म्हणजे इथं मला रेशो ऑफ कॅपॅसिटन्स दिसतोय आणि उजव्या बाजूला रेशो ऑफ रेजिस्टन्स दिसतोय म्हणजे मी इक्वेट करू शकतो देर विल बी द कॅपॅसिटन्स रेशो ऑफ द कॅपॅसिटन्स इज इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ द रेजिस्टन्स इट मीन्स दॅट द कॅपॅसिटन्स रेशो ऑफ कॅपॅसिटन्स कॅन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय द रेशो ऑफ रेजिस्टन्स हिअर दी 
capacitance and resistance are equilibrium are equal are equated and where by using the ohms bridge formula in ohms by using the ohms bridge formula one can able to equate the ratio of the capacitor and the ratio of the resistance together and uh, this is the equation number 1 again the remaining part is the we have to equate the imaginary part uh, imaginary part on the both side this is the imaginary part on left hand side and this is the imaginary part on right hand side what is the equation that equation is known as an equating imaginary part we get the equation that is r1 r4 c3 is equal to l then z omega z omega will be cancel from both side then here see here that is the product of the resistance and inductance is uh, giving to get the uh, is going to get the capacitor means that the product of resistance and inductance it gives the uh, the product of uh, resistance and in, uh, capacitor gives the inductance that is r1 r4 is equal to l divided by c3 that is the product of the resistance is the ratio of inductance and capacitance and according to these two important equations which was given by the uh, ohms uh, ohms bridge that will be the ac bridge in which the ac circuit is to be used or the ac current is to is to be used uh, we can uh, going to calculate the uh, we can going to equate the resistances with respect to capacitance or the ratio of the resistance with respect to capacitor by using the first equation or in by using the second equation the product of product of the resistances can be can be equated with the help of the ratio of inductance and capacitance and this is the magical application of the ohms bridge and hence the ohms bridge is known as an ac bridge and it is importantly used to calculate or used to equate the different loads which was uh, uh, which was aligned on the uh, four arms of the uh, ohms bridge okay friends this relation shows that uh, the relation 1 and 2 are the both independent of the frequency of the applied emf and by using the same bridge by using the same bridge the mutual inductance of the coil is to be calculated we know that the mutual inductance inductance is different and mutual inductance is different we know that the mutual inductance that the faraday faraday faraday's law that is the if the one uh, two coil are placed in conjunction with each other and one one coil is carrying the current but they, due to the electromagnetic field the second coil will induces the emf and that will be known as an induced emf that will be due to the uh, phi that is the flux or the intensity of the magnetization uh, it will be depend upon the number of flux cut by the second coil and uh, due to that the emf is induced or the back emf is uh, flowing through that coil and that uh, uh, that uh, property will be known as a mutual inductance and mutual inductance is to be calculated by using the Ohm's bridge. Consider that there are the two coils L1 and L2 and the mutual inductance of that coil is the M then uh, resulting in mutual in uh, the rich, uh, resulting inductance L2 dash don't coil series madhe mi zodla don't coil series madhe zodla manje mi zari ta annotate getla mitrano tura coil me asha zod toye baga ita hi ek coil ashi zodli and the other coil is used to be L1, L2, L1 and L2 means that the coil is used to be L2 dash L1 plus L2 plus 2M. So, this coil is replaced by the coil, and the coil is interchanged by L1 and L2 and L2 and L1 and L2 and L1 and L2 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 equation that is the L2 double dash is equal to L1 plus L2 minus 2M. L1 plus L2 minus 2M दोगांची जर बेरीज के लिए मित्रों नो सॉरी दोगांची जर सब्सट्रैक्शन कितली तो आपने लगा काय मिलते हैं बगैर L1 प्लस L2 L1 प्लस L2 जातो है अने 2M प्लस 2M मंजे 4M होतो है अने 4M ची वैल्यू आपने लगा मिलते हैं या ओम्स ब्रिज द्वारे अने 4M ची जर वैल्यू में आली तो M ची मेल भागीले 4 करेंस and this bridge is very very importantly used to calculate the mutual inductance and in uh, bsc2 uh, in bsc2 uh, in year bsc2 we have to when uh, there is one of the experiment in which we can able to calculate the mutual inductance by using this uh, uh, owens bridge and by using the formula that is the 4m and 4m zar aplyala milat asel tar jo miltoy tela bhagi le char karaycha manje m milto ani m manje ita mutual inductance of the uh, mutual inductance of that coil or that couple of the coil L1 and L2.
okay okay friends here we over the chapter uh, that is the first chapter will it, it will be started from uh, about the month uh, we here completed the first topic that is ac circuits in next lecture we are able to start the magnetostatic that is the second chapter uh, or the second topic of uh, uh, semester second okay friends uh, friends only 2 minutes are remaining uh please submit your attendance in chat box first that is that uh, chat box is waiting for your attendance and uh, if uh, anyone have any ambiguities or any uh, misunderstanding uh, in the concept then the session is open for the discussion please ask me i can uh, try to rectify your all the uh, ambiguities or the uh, some misunderstanding in the concept okay Okay, friends. I am waiting for your response. Uh, meanwhile, upon such any uh, attendance, ha submit kara chat box madhe. And if there is any question, then whichara I can try to give the answer of your uh, uh, some ambiguities. Okay. Okay, Shanka ka. I am here stopping the sharing. okay first submit the your final attendance in chat box kai adchan ahe ka supriya sankpal supriya sanika jadho kai adchan hai सर अडचण नाही पण नोट्स कधी देणार तुम्ही त्याच्या हा नोट्स लगेच पाठवतो मला आता याचा गुगल फॉर्म आहे व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुपला पाठवू का मी माझं हे नोट्स पाठवू का आता लगेच आता लगेच हा पाठवा सर लगेच पाठवतो व्हॉट्सअप ग्रुपला डाउनलोड करा त्याची प्रिंट काढा वाचा हा चालते सर ओके ओके अगेन कोणाची काही अडचण पुन्हा प्लीज please submit your attendance in chat box only 30 seconds are remaining friends okay i will uh, supply you the notes in uh, whatsapp group okay uh, friends we stop here uh, have a nice day please stay home stay safe stay home stay safe thank you ते कशाला घेऊ माझ्या मेल ला टाकतो